This plugin is a creative powerhouse. It takes all of the stress and workload and hours of playing with microphones and setups and it just puts good guitar tones right in front of you. So when you pick up your guitar, you can cycle through presets within minutes. You can dial any amp or any cab into like a really usable tone and, it, and the, the sort of technical engineering side that kind of bogs you down when it, you just need to get to that point to get a good guitar tone. It's just taken care of for you. So the reason I wanted to release this guitar plugin suite is I've never really had a lot of success styling Keeper guitar tones with any of the other software that's out right now. And I think a lot of it came to maybe poor engineering on the software side, but I've got the opportunity with SDL to kind of spec out this plugin and we spent a year on it, kind of going through all the various testings of hardware to kind of make sure that we were getting what is actually representative of my guitar tones. And that's kind of what fired me up to go forward and do this entire suite. So the core elements that I really wanted to make sure we got into this plugin were to maintain the integrity and the depth and presence of real amp tones. So this plugin really felt like an amplifier. And also a signature part of my guitar tones is blending multiple amps in multiple cabs. It's something that I really haven't seen done well in the software world. So I wanted to try to create a way to build a mixer into this. And we were able to do that with this plugin. So you can blend multiple amps in multiple cabs. I think the last thing that was really crucial for me was a really signature guitar bus EQ that's very musical and kind of lives within the plugin so you have this one-stop shop for an actual finished guitar tone without having to do much processing outside of the plugin. And luckily we were able to achieve all three of them. Like that right there, that's a yeah. little pretty balanced. Here's an amp two in the suite. Off another uh, amp that I really love here and use commonly. Um, the style of this amp, but it has a really reactive presence knob. It almost kind of doesn't work like a standard presence knob where it just gets brighter and fizzier. It kind of actually accentuates the, the low mids and the low end of, uh, presence along with some of the high frequency. So you're left with like a bit of a thicker tone as this comes up. It's pretty, um, it's what makes this amp kind of special too. It's, and we nailed it getting it into the plug-in. So here, I'll play something and then you could just Yeah, like listen to how the Sounds great. Yeah, this one's really killer. I run this amp with ELs as like a kind of in the studio, so I kind of left that as the default for this one because I think it has a really cool character and it helps kind of give you a different character versus amp one, but it's also very cool with the 6L6s. This is probably a less common amp. It's sort of a newer uh, model that Good I amp picked though, up. For sure. Yeah, it's become one of my favorites and I started using it. Um, on a lot of records, so I was like, you know what, this is a, definitely a part of my tone. I, I should include this in the in the plugin. One thing I really like about this amp is these normal tight switches that it does. It's almost like its own overdrive pedal within the amp, but the way it cleans up and pushes the mids forward and like tightens the low end and attack, it's like a really unique feature on this amp. <laughs> Here's our amp four. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. At 
leave that right there. That sounds real good right there. So let me show you some of the uh, effects that we have in this too. So yeah, pretty uh, a pretty cool modulated filtering delay uh, based off of one of my favorite pedal delays. That is tits. This is Amp 5. It's modeled after my favorite bass amp. It's a 1969 model, and it's very uh, unique. It has a very cool thickness to it and low end that I have trouble getting out of other amps and we were able to recreate that really well with the plug-in. It's pretty packed with features, your normal bright, normal input switch. These ultra high and ultra low knobs are very, very cool. These switches are really functional and it's got a sweepable mid-range with three different bands. This is also paired with an 8x10 cab. It's my favorite bass cab that I use to record. And uh, you can pull a lot of sounds from this. I've included some stock bass tones in here. And I've also given you some album bass tones, which is about 20 of my favorite bass tones that I've pulled over the years. And these came out so well. We actually did a bunch of additional bass tones. You got another 30, all with unique IR. Here's some Bright Scoop Clean style stuff. <laughs> more push. Vintage-y. This thing gets pretty hot too. Here's like a more aggressive one. I've given you a ton of variety with the album presets too. We can pull up some different DIs and I could show you a few. There's a Greyhaven one that I really like. So yeah, this plugin comes with a good variety of presets too. It's some guitar tones that I made within this plugin, saved it. Same thing with bass tones. I also put in a bunch of album guitar tones recreated album guitar tones from about like 50 records and created unique cab IRs that you can load in you know the as an external cab you can use it with a variety of amps but that IR is basically I, the identical character of how I recorded that particular sound on that album so you get a good 50 of those there's bass tones additional bass tones that I had made uh, just for this specifically with other pedals and stuff just to give you a more variety of bass so you weren't as limited to one amp. Part of what's cool in the presets, you'll notice this is probably the first time we're getting into this, but these, some of these presets are set up in mixer mode. Normal mode is kind of what we were in before, where you just got one amp, one cab, and you kind of just dial and do your thing with an individual setup. 
in mixer mode, which is how I do get a lot of guitar tones, um, I wind up blending amps and cabs to, to kind of create unique uh, sounds that are a combination of both amps. So like here's, for example, here's my Shred Fest blend. This is my amp one and amp four, kind of leaning on amp one with my mixer. You can see here, I've got about more, more of this amp than that. Ooh, there we go. I can find a spot within them that's got a little of the low end and a little of the mid attack of this, and I get, I just, just like I dial guitars in real life, I kind of find my sweet spot. I'm just going to sit here and pull, I want to hear the sweep. Sure. You'll hear the frequencies cancel around it. In this particular preset, it kind of pushes this more into a mid forward tone. Up here, it's probably more full frequency. Play a little. Start creating this unique tone that's a sub above the sounds. And then at any point, if you want to swap an individual amp or a cab out of this, it's all easy to just grab right here, cycle through, try different amps on the individual channels. So part of the features that are included in this pack are some of my album guitar tones. We worked very meticulously to recreate all of the album tones from the records and the DIs that we had, and we kind of reverse engineered them and gave you unique IRs, which load add in their own presets, and then you could use with all the amps and pedals and effects that come with the plugin. And we've got some really, really close, basically identical tones like I have on my albums, just included in this preset. And what I'll do now is I'll just go through a few of them and just show you how similar they actually are. This is um, the record Cold by Gideon. I've kind of gone through each of these and like redialed a bit too, checked out the EQ, saw if anything could even be improved on for my album tones. So here and there you'll actually get better, more improved versions of them. Um, just to, for a quick A to B, this is what it sounds like with the rhythm guitars from the record. And here's the rhythm guitars with the plug-in. Pretty scary close. Uh, this is from the record You're Not You Anymore by Counterparts. This is like a really tight, shreddy guitar. It's got a bit more of a, like almost a low gain approach to it because the notes move so fast and it's very grabby. This uh, is an example of the original guitar tone. This is one of those tones that uh, when I recorded it, it came in a little dark. When I went back to my mix session, I realized that I had put a pretty severe high shelf on it. So when I saved this one, I kind of brightened it up a little bit too. You'll hear how this cuts a little more than even the tone that was on the record. Yeah, it's nice to go back through your old guitar tones and realize, hey, I can beat them now, and then they're yours. I uh, mixed this band called Psychroptic from Australia. Uh, the record As a Kingdom Drowns, and we designed this really cool mid-forward, shreddy kind of metal tone, 5150 style. 
um, real pick attacky, real present. And here's what the original one sounds like. Here's our uh, plug-in version with the As the Kingdom Drowns preset. I feel kind of funny saying this because I've been an amp guy for years. But I truly think that this STL guitar suite is going to make me sell a good chunk of my amps. I've never been able to just dial tones and then tweak them endlessly and have them sound as good as the amp collection that I have. And it's making me rethink my whole process to guitar engineering and tracking. And, and for that, yeah, I, I couldn't be more excited to be releasing this.